you can call me Cam. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So I have not been in front of the camera in a minute, but I wanted to get on here and just kind of talk. We're gonna do a chit chat wine wine talk. It's already open because I took the cork out already, but I actually haven't had any wine today. Um before I get into drinking, um I just wanted to kind of get on here and talk about mental health. Um, if you didn't know, May is actually Mental Health Awareness Month. And also, if you didn't know, I do struggle with depression, mild anxiety. Um, yeah, and I kind of just wanted to get on here and just, I don't know. I kind of wanted to talk about maybe just ways you can cope. Um, I feel like my mental health has been getting a little better. I kind of went through like a dip and I did just um, have to go to my doctor to talk to her about that because I don't like that we don't like we don't like that when I feel like I'm going down instead of back up so um we made some adjustments to like my medication and I'm feeling a little better so um yeah I'm only gonna be drinking a little bit of wine you know you can't really drink like that when you're taking your meds so I'm gonna pour it all right y'all I got my wine so let's talk about mental health yeah so I just want to kind of give y'all um basically a little background into my mental health and why I feel so strongly about it so if you haven't watched any of like my updates or any videos where I have talked about my mental health um, I do deal with depression um, I have mild anxiety but my main issue I feel like is my depression um, when did it <laughs> you know depression isn't something that just like pops up one day and it's like oh i'm depressed it's kind of like a whole little like spiraling down where it's motion and then you hit rock bottom and you're like i need help and i think for me that was 2018 where i hit like rock bottom um i was super sad like literally didn't want to get out of bed i wasn't eating i lost so much weight um i was just really struggling couldn't keep a job nothing i i was just at home and um that really took a toll on me and i really just felt like i didn't like no one understood you know um yeah it's it was just a lot of stuff going on um i was in school i was in houston for school actually that didn't work out wasn't there that long and then when I came back I feel like that's when just everything just went downhill because I was like dang like I'm not in school what am I doing couldn't keep a job what am I doing like why am I here like those type of thoughts and your thoughts can be real nasty sometimes and so that's basically why I ended up seeing my doctor and you know told her about my concerns low-key shout out to my mom because i did not want to go to that doctor i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i feel like i kind of knew i had like depressive tendencies in high school just because of how like up and down my moods were but also i was like a 16 17 year old girl so you know everyone like one thing happens and you think like your life is gonna be over but um there was some stuff I was going through um, in high school and I do remember like my first little like boyfriend or whatever. Um, I remember him telling me he was like he couldn't love me because I don't love myself. And I really don't think I loved myself back in high school. Like I was just that down bad. He would say like you're so sad. Like why are you so sad? Like and I just didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't really know much about mental health no one you know in my family really talks about it to be honest and so with me I didn't really know what was going on and when I was down I was down and it really does affect the people around you and that's not anyone else's job but yours I didn't really know I would just sit there and just be like oh he he ha ha you know smiling in everyone's face and then I get home or like let that smile fade and then like you can really tell like yo something's wrong like that's not right so yeah I kind of knew you know I just didn't really know about depression and so 
it really took for me to like literally hit rock bottom for me to go get help and i do thank my mom for um kind of forcing me to go to the doctor you know i didn't want to talk to anybody um i did not want to talk to anyone i didn't want to get on medications i didn't want to be known as the girl who goes to therapy thought that had a horrible stigma which it doesn't and we're going to get into that later but yeah that's basically my little backstory on my depression and like I said, I, I know what triggered it and I know what kind of pinpointed it. Like maybe when I'm more comfortable, that'll be like a whole nother video. Yes, I am currently on medications for my depression. Um, we actually just switched them up, so I couldn't even tell you like exactly what I'm on. Um, but I'm going to for sure be able to do like an update on like how I feel. I feel OK. Um, yeah that's basically that's basically my my side of like what my mental health is and but what I really wanted to talk about um what I really wanted to talk about in this video though was ways that I have been coping without medication because I actually did stop taking my medications for a while and I'm just now starting to get back on them um and the reason i did stop taking them was because i didn't like the combination i don't know what it was maybe my body got used to it or what but i literally was like slowly like starting to have those thoughts and i don't like having these specific thoughts so i stopped taking them and i was like you know what like until i can get into my doctor i'm just not going to take them because they're not helping me so within i would say this probably was like a month span of me not taking medications i did notice that my um mood did kind of get more elated and you know some people hearing that might be like oh well why did you get back on them and it's more so just because um I don't really know how to explain it like it's kind of hard to explain like unless you're on like antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications or like any other type of you know medication but I like having that safety net almost where I'm not gonna drop super low and so the thing is without those medications i will be really really high one day and really really low and i don't like that low so i'd rather be have a safety net to catch me like i can be really happy but i don't want to get that low and so that's why i am still taking my medications and that's why i did go back to um you know that's why i did go back to my doctor to change up what was going on because i didn't like that so that's probably the best way I can explain it is that like I like to have a safety net and you know maybe one day I won't need it at all but as of right now I feel like I do and it's fine you know nothing's wrong with that yeah like I said I just kind of wanted to talk about like just some little self-help things that like I've looked up and that I've personally tried that can kind of help your mood a little bit and kind of help you get out of bed like on days you can't get out of bed eat when you can't eat um because I still have those days so you know some days it's hard for me to literally do anything like i could literally some days stay in bed all day and i know that sounds like crazy to some people but like if you deal with mental health issues and you know what i'm talking about like there are literally some days where i could really sleep all day and just wait until i feel like i want to get up so um, i guess the first thing i just want to start off with saying is that i have started to slowly work out and i'm starting meditation um, I've tried to meditate before, couldn't really do it. Um, I tried to meditate on my own, watch YouTube videos, couldn't do it. Um, but I have tried this app called Bloom. Um, this is actually not sponsored by them. They did reach out to me for an Instagram post, but I, they don't even know that I'm speaking on this in a YouTube video. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to speak on Bloom because it's a guided meditation app and I feel like it does really help me personally. Um, it's just hard when you don't really know how to meditate so i don't know like that's just what's been helping me so that's one way um that you can you know kind of like get your door or get your foot in the door with meditation um just something to help your mind just be empty i noticed that like with me and again whenever i'm speaking on like mental illness it's always going to just be from my perspective so if i don't say like all for me or for me just know that it is for me i don't know how anyone else feels or what anyone else does or what's going on in their mind so when i say something it's only gonna apply to me but if you relate then you relate 
Um, but yeah, for me, with my depression, I get in a mood where I'll literally question my whole life. And I'll literally be like, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to be here. And it'll just be all these really negative thoughts. So it really helps. Meditation really helps me to just empty my mind completely and just no thoughts so i've been really working on that just kind of trying to just decompress and <sighs> have no thoughts because my mind can be my worst enemy so i definitely try to just let it all out recently i did try something called float therapy it's basically where you get into a tank like a big tank filled with epsom salt and you literally just float like it doesn't let you sink and you literally just float and i fell asleep and it was so relaxing and i told myself like i need to do more things like this because i feel like you know i'm at work and then when i'm not at work i'm like okay i have things to do i have to you know like do this do that but i feel like if i'm not doing something and i'm not at work what are you doing you're wasting your time you could be doing this you could be doing that and i'm not motivated so i feel like maybe for me to have like that set time to actually like decompress and not do anything helps me on like my days where i'm not at work so that i'm not just in bed all day if that makes sense that i don't know if that like came off the correct way but that's kind of how i think of it um i also have been reading again um right now i'm currently reading um little fires everywhere and i actually watched this show on hulu during quarantine in 29 or in 2020 um i watched it on hulu and i like absolutely fell in love was like binge watching the whole show so um i've had the book actually since 2020 never opened it like i think i read maybe okay i'm lying i did open it i think i read like literally the first chapter and like never opened it again so currently doing that as well that's something when i'm at home um i take about like an hour or two just to literally be off my phone and read um don't care how late it is i'm gonna try and get that reading time in so that's something else i've been trying to do just to like help my mental state not always be on my phone be so stimulated by the phone self-care i feel like self-care is probably like my favorite way to kind of let me you know just take care of myself um when i don't look good i don't feel good so if i look good i'm gonna feel good you know so like i'm gonna get my brows done if i can see my hair straight i should have recorded that i should have made a video on that but yeah my hair is straight right now um i actually have to restrain it because it's been like super humid so that's why it's in this little like bun with a bang but yeah my hair straight i got my hair done hair dyed actually can y'all tell can y'all see that i don't know maybe i'll make another video with my straight hair um i don't really know what's going on but yeah um get your hair done do hair masks get your nails done like do face masks do body masks exfoliate you know just do things that are gonna make you look and feel good um that's something i've always kind of done that's kind of always been like my go-to like okay like let's do a face mask you know drink some wine chill out like that's a very easy way to just kind of give yourself that love that you need and just take care of your body from the outside in um i love it so that's something i've been trying to do um kind of going off that note um making you know yourself feel, or taking care of yourself from the outside in i've been drinking tea I'm trying to get away from coffee i went through a little coffee phase for about like a month um now my job we don't do coffee anymore so i um kind of trying to wean myself off of coffee but i have been also drinking tea i've been trying to make smoothies in the morning um because i don't eat in the morning which probably doesn't help my mental health I, I you know it's just like little things i just feel like you can do just to kind of give yourself like that energy um depression specifically like it makes you literally so drained like i said there's some days i can literally just lay down in my bed all day literally watch movie watch movies all day not doing anything so i've been trying to you know get myself out of bed make up my bed 
go make a smoothie you know bare minimum at least in the morning wake up early i have an alarm set for 8 30 every day um there are some days where i snooze past snooze past it but um i do try and get up at 8 30 almost every day at least um and yeah like i said make some smoothies that's really all i can eat in the morning if i eat anything else i'm probably gonna be sick that early not gonna lie my body's just not used to it i never was a breakfast person so yeah so i found this book at five below i'm sure you can order it online if you don't see it there but it's a self-care journal um and it's called today i affirm um it says a journal that nurtures self-care it's by the author alexandra l and basically i've been trying to write in this i'm not even gonna lie and say that i do this every day but maybe i'll do it tonight um but basically it's just like a bunch of prompts that you can do for example like 43 on here it says list your top five insecurities um number 46 says what is my path in life and how can i start walking on it so yeah there's there's a bunch of good prompts in this thing and then there's in the back there's this is what i saw which i liked um when i was in the store there's like a bunch of diary entries basically they're literally all like they're a lot of the same ones and it says dear self you know you make you can you will got a bunch of blank things and it just says love self so yeah self-care books um they actually had a bunch of these I only got this one just because this was the only one I actually had time to look at but if you do want to get some like really cheap ones I would recommend five below because um, that book is pretty nice I do really like that it kind of forces you to think positively I feel like with me if there's any chance I get to kind of speak on mental health and maybe even touch like one person that's what I'm gonna do and that's my goal I've always felt that my goal was to be like a nurturer or something like I don't know I feel like I always just want to help people and when people are sad that makes me sad I think the last thing that I want to end off on uh, for this video is that um y'all should just be sure to check in on your loved ones um friends family all that stuff um you know even if someone isn't like super vocal about their mental health i think you still should check on them and even if they are vocal um for example like i'm vocal with my mental health but it is nice for you know people to be like hey like how are, how are you today like you know what's going on and even if i am just like oh i'm fine um just me personally i do still appreciate that even if i'm not necessarily ready to like talk or completely open up which i might never do you know like i'm not gonna lie i don't really think i've even really <laughs> this is gonna sound sad but i'm over here making a whole video about it but i honestly don't think i've opened up to anyone about my like how i've been actually actually feeling in a little bit but that's fine i'm just not ready to really just talk about it to just anybody you know i'm not up to i'm not up to you know telling everybody and then telling repeating myself and it's it's fine like like i said it's it's nice to just be checked up on and just to know that people are there for you and they care just from someone who does have mental health so i just want to you know point that out that um it'll always be nice just to check in on anyone who you know who deals with it even if they are vocal like myself you know i post about it on my instagram story i post about it in on twitter um i make videos about mental health so even though i am vocal and don't get me wrong there are people there there are people in my life who check up on me and i love them and i appreciate the hell out of them for that but um yeah even if they're not open or someone's not open or willing to open up it is nice to just have that in the back of your mind like hey someone does care about me you know what i mean just that's always nice so um always be sure to like check up on your loved ones um just know you're not alone um i always like to tell people like i've said this on instagram twitter tiktok here i am someone where i am so nice like i literally will give anyone a chance like that's just how i am as a person so 
if you feel like you need to talk to somebody and you literally don't have anyone you can literally dm me on instagram on twitter i don't take dms on tiktok just because i get a lot of dms just because when my videos go viral people go crazy so i always tell people like dm me on instagram or dm me on twitter because i see those messages more um because tiktok is just insane like your video is viral and you get people dming you and stuff and it's just really hard to like differentiate um like actual message and then kind of like almost spammy messages um but yeah i'm always someone that you can reach out to me you can talk to me and sometimes maybe it's nice to you know talk to someone who goes through mental health or has mental health issues too even if you don't have depression or anxiety or you have like something else like um you know schizophrenia an ed like even though I don't have those, I can, it, it might just be nice to like talk to someone who does deal with mental health issues though. So I just like to put that out there. I am someone that you can talk to. Um, yeah, I don't know. This video is kind of a different tone, but it is something I like to talk about. Um, like I said, I didn't really have any notes. The line's probably not helping. So I'm going to have to edit this video and just see how everything <laughs> comes out. Um, but I just want to end on a happy note um i love you guys um i hope everyone is doing well and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>